I muted myself. Tell us your class year and where you're living. Me? Okay. In the chat. Share it in the chat. Put your. Oh, room. great. Thank you. Class year, where you're currently yeah, living. Mm -hmm. If you want to share what hall you lived in, we'd love to see all those things. It's really fun to see who's here. We'll get started in just a minute. A part of Berkeley when the idea was to keep Mills as a college. It was certainly better than selling the campus off for parts because that would have been and remains unacceptable. In December, Beth told the Board of Governors that things with Berkeley were still being discussed and the decisions would not be made until 2023. Somehow things changed and sped up, and they sped up so fast that Beth forgot to inform us to the changes in violation of the Memorandum of Collaboration. We were stunned by the announcement on March 17th. And since then, we have been perplexed and confused by the conflicting statements. Nothing settled, and yet we know for sure we won't be granting degrees. There will be an institute, but the blueprints for it haven't been written. We may or may not have a partnership with UC Berkeley, but there's some type of agreement for which there is a term sheet. No one has told us how we got from a nice residential college scenario to a non-degree granting institute. And when we have asked, we have been given vague and diffusive answers. And yet we're in a rush. The Board of Governors have been told we can't even meet with the trustees. We have no idea what that means. We used to get together and have dinner. Now, when the very mission of the college is changing, we are told we can't have a conversation with each other. And I'm sorry, today's night tonight, asking for our help with admissions, when we have literally been begging for years to be involved in a meaningful way, is quite frankly insulting. This past Sunday on Easter, Marilyn Schuster invited governors to meet with her to hear about the Institute. We were told the writing of the blueprint was just beginning, just like we heard tonight. We had a chance, however, to ask questions. I asked if we were keeping the campus, parts of the campus, any part of 5000 MacArthur Boulevard. And she answered, Presumably, yes. It depends on the assets we have. I mean, we can't do it alone. We certainly can define the core and continue negotiations with that in mind. And then it suddenly dawned on me. One could have an institute and sell the college off for parts. And that would make for a very rich institute. Indeed, a billion dollar institute. Which makes sense now why the questions are going around of do we sell the rare books, do we sell the art collection, the music department, or just the land. So again, I'm giving this to all of our trustees that are listening tonight. Trustees, I urge you to search your heart and your conscience. Have you truly considered the alternatives and explored other models? Have all options been contemplated. Why can't the Institute grant degrees? And if we have enough money for a very, very rich Institute, why could you not leverage the same assets to keep a smaller college? Trustees, are you sure your trust has been placed correctly? These are rhetorical for you to contemplate as you decide whether or not to extinguish the fires of wisdom. But please remember who you are and what you represent. And I do have one question, and it is for Katie. Katie Sanborn, as the chair of the Board of Trustees and an alumna, have you personally seen the term sheet, and will you share it? Sorry, Alexa, I was looking for my mouse. It was on my other screen. Um, I, it's 
hard to answer a question that isn't doesn't provide correct information, so I'll just leave it at that. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you, Mayla. Um, Thank you, Alexa. Beth, I have some. Um, Thank, you, Alexa. Thank, Thank you, Alexa. Alexa. Thank, Thank you, Alexa. 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 Thank you, 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 Alexa. Thank you,